five fun things about Plumas Lake, California, and we're starting right now. Hey, before we get started, if you've got any questions about living in Plumas Lake in the greater Sacramento region, we get a ton of phone calls and we absolutely love it. If you are looking for a real estate agent that has your back, give us a call or a text at 916-382-2510. That's call or text, 916-382-2510. On with the video. Number one, a tale of two Plumas Lakes. So there are technically two areas that uh, claim to be or are referred to as Plumas Lake. And the main one, the, the one that most people think of is, is right here. So you have uh, located off of Plumas Lake Boulevard here to the north and then Feather River Boulevard here to the south. This area here is what's generally when people refer to Plumas Lake, what they're referring to. But there is another area that people also technically consider Plumas Lake. So if you go north, see this area here? I've already highlighted it for you. This area is called Wheeler Ranch. And Wheeler Ranch is a little bit further north, about five, 10 minutes north of Plumas Lake. It's, it's also kind of a self-contained community. And it's here off of Plumas Arboga Road, and you kind of have to go through Olivehurst to get to Wheeler Ranch. So here you have McGowan Parkway. That's the exit you'd be taking. And then you'd go down Plumas Arboga Road. Here. So that's the route you would take to get to Wheeler Ranch. As you can see, there's currently only one home for sale in Wheeler Ranch. Uh, the homes in Wheeler Ranch do tend to be a little bit less than in Plumas Lake proper. So if you look here, on balance, square foot per square foot, usually you're paying a little less for a little bit more house in Wheeler Ranch than you are here in Plumas Lake. So number one, fun fact, there are technically two Plumas Lakes. On to the next one. Number two. This is one that gets asked quite often. And uh, the number one question people ask is, is there a lake in Plumas Lake? Well, Plumas Lake actually used to be a lake. It is a since a dried up lake. And uh, of course, uh, we've covered this in some of the other videos. It is It does sit in a flood plain. And before a lot of the flood control was enacted, was enacted, there, there, there was a lot of controversy about building out there in Plumas Lake. Uh, of course, um, the lake, I'm told, when there was flooding out in Plumas Lake, that uh, th the lake was about 15 feet high at certain times. But no, that lake has long since dried up. There is no lake in Plumas Lake. <laughs> Number three, so there actually is a boat launch located very close to Plumas Lake off of the Feather River. And so here's, here's Plumas Lake, that's Highway 70. And here is the boat launch. So we'll show you. So theoretically, if you've got a boat and there are some pretty decent sized garages in Plumas Lake and many of them, not all of them, many homes in Plumas Lake have RV access and a place to store a boat. So here off of Feather River Boulevard, I believe this is called Star Bend. And you can see, here's a closer look at it. You have a boat launch and kind of a picnic area. As you can see, you know, there's some burnout marks and some trash that, that's been dumped here. Yeah, not too different from a lot of parks. It probably would be a good idea to have uh, a dash cam, but you can um, drop your boat in there and 
The Feather River turns into, empties into the Sacramento River. So if you are in your boat, theoretically, and if you get gas on the river, it's really expensive. So if there's a way for you to bring your own gas, that would be helpful. Feather River goes all the way down, all the way down. You could really make a day of this. And it, turn, it dumps into the Sacramento River. And there's just a lot of cool stuff that you can do if you're go going boating for the day on the river. So here you go. You got Swabies right there. And you can go all the way, all the way down here. and end up in Sacramento. So if you want to watch the fireworks shows or whatever, you can boat all the way down there. I mean, it depends on how much gas you have or how much you want to spend on gas, but uh, having that boat launch capability and being able to use the river, I think that's a very cool thing and a very fun fact about Plumas Lake, California. Hey, we're almost done. Stick around till the end of the video to find out the surprising fifth fun fact about living in Plumas Lake. But before we do that, if you like what I do here, I would be honored if you'd consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing. On with the list. And Plumas Lake Schools. So here are some fun facts about the schools in Plumas Lake as of the recording of this date, December 7th, 2022. So this comes from greatschools.com and it shows you the maps of the schools and the ratings of the schools on a 10 point scale. So you can see here Rio del Oro Elementary School gets an 8 out of 10. Cobblestone Elementary School gets an 8 out of 10. Uh, River, Riverside Meadows Intermediate School, that one clocks in at a 5 out of 10. So. Uh, that, that's like a middle school, basically. Serves grades uh, 6 through 8. I don't... I Just an aside here, folks. I don't really see too many middle schools highly rated. I think the reason probably is obvious for that, um, given that stage of life for most people. And then, of course, um, you would be, if you have any high schoolers, they would be going to, as of this date, Wheatland High School. And so Wheatland High School is scored at a 4 out of 10, something to bear in mind. And so those have been fun facts about the schools in Plumas Lake. And number five, I know this might be important to some of our folks that commute to downtown Sacramento or state workers and such, but uh, there is a park and ride located in Plumas Lake. And so if you go down here, it's at the south end of Plumas Lake on the east side of Highway 70 off of Feather River Boulevard. But you can see here there is a park and ride. So here's a better view of it. So you can see it has a abundant parking and it's, it's very well maintained, it's very new. So if uh, commuting in using public transit, if you wanna save money on gas, or uh, if you, you know, again, if, you're a, if you work in downtown Sacramento, this is a great option for you. I, they have tinted windows and they have Wi-Fi available. So that is an amenity that is available to you in Plumas Lake. So those have been my five fun facts about Plumas Lake, California. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for our latest videos. See ya!